Okay, Nick Collier here, and uh, we are continuing with this project. Now, yesterday, uh, everything got set up wonderfully. We're totally set up, and then I realized that my hole was too small, and I need to drill it out rather than bore it out. I was hoping I could go in and bore it out. Ain't gonna work. So, what we have to do is not disassemble this, but readjust this, and I'll uh, spin this, and you can kind of see where the hole is out. Now look at that hole. What do we got, a quarter inch? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the uh, entire block of steel so that that hole is fairly centered and then come in with a couple of drill bits and get up to about, oh, I don't know, inch and a half or inch and three quarters, which is the biggest bit I've got. Then my, my boring bar will fit in there and then we re readjust back to the original circle which is right there, the outer circle, and start boring that out and see what we can do. So, that said, we are going to take this thing apart and figure out where we're going. And you can just kind of stay right there because one of the things we have to do is figure out where our high point is. And it looks like this might be it right here. Let's see. I'd say that's pretty close to it. So uh, what we'll do is loosen this and loosen our two, uh, two um, clamps and let the whole thing just kind of drop down just a smidge. Okay. And I want to loosen it enough so it'll move, but not enough that I have to take these clamps back off and put them back on because that is a super pain in the butt. It looks like that one's fairly loose. Let's see if we can get this thing to move a little bit. And I'm just going to put a mark on my uh, on my uh, base plate and see if I can just bang this down. There it goes. It's moving nicely. Now how far it's going to move is a whole nother ball game. But let's uh, snug that back down and see what we did. Okay. One more try. Damn, if that didn't work. Okay, that was, I mean, that was one of the easiest thing I've done with this project so far. So we're just gonna go with what we've got there. We're gonna run this bit in there and bore this thing out or drill this thing out a little bit further. First, I think what we wanna do is tighten up our clamps and make sure that they're all happy. This one kind of looks like it's stretched out there. Good. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's give it a spin. We're at the place where we can do um and we're going to need an extension to get all the way through there. So let's back this up a little bit. A little bit of oil on the ways. And... Run our extension in. Oops, we need a, an adapter. I'm going to take my uh, leather mallet and wang on the end of this just to send it home, get everybody tightened up. A 
I'm throwing a bit of oil in there just to make sure we're set and we are ready to rock and roll. in the right direction and let's start cranking. It looks like we're taking oh, a good quarter inch out of this at one time. Now let's put the next drill bit in and see what we can come up with. Right, that hole was way out and we had to use this little dinky uh, boring bar that's just I don't know if you can see it but it's just flexing like nobody's business but it is cutting so and we've done about oh six or eight cuts so far taking about 20 thousandths at a time and uh, and we're getting that hole pretty well squared up I think this next time out we're gonna have uh, we'll put the bigger bar in and we'll be able to take uh, you know, 40 and 60 thousandths at a time. So uh, we'll be back in a few. Okay, so we don't have a perfect circle just yet, but I think we're set up enough that we can come in with our other boring bar and start to cut our, uh, our uh, you know, with something a little stronger. In fact, I might, I might even be able to... Almost, but not quite. So uh, we'll cut with the medium sized bar for a while and get this thing down to where we can uh, to where we can handle it and then uh, put the bigger bar in and finish up the cuts. So in order to do that, we'll take out this bit. And we are looking for that. Slide the bar in. There we go. Now we need to come in and find out where our... Oh wait, first we want to get this level. Let's get it set up height-wise. And on my lathe, we have 6875, 6875, 7875, 7875, so we're a little bit low. Uh, 
let's just rotate it a bit and get ourselves a a nice cut cut angle. That's where we want to be. And tighten up our bolts. Shall I go ahead and flip that piece around? If There's our depth where we'll zero that out. We're going to zero this out. Bring it back in. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, well, maybe we don't have enough clearance on that bottom edge. Now yeah, we got clearance. Okay, good. So. Okay, we got the big bar in there now. It'll fit. We got a perfect circle going. And I just uh, set it to uh, 40 thousandths per side. So we're taking 80 thousandths per cut, which is perfect because that's going to mean it's going to go a little bit faster this time around. And it seems to be cutting just fine. So uh, we'll keep plugging along at this and uh, we'll be back soon. Okay, well, we got to the place where we were cutting 45 thousandths per side. That's 90 thousand whole. So this thing's going to pretty much cut fairly fast. It's lunchtime for me, but I've got another, oh, one inch there to cut. And, um, and at 100 thousandths per cut, that's going to go pretty quick, I think. At least I hope. And uh, so we're, uh, we'll be back in a while, or maybe tomorrow morning. Depends on the other things that I have to do today. And... Um, We'll see you then. Ooh, it's good. <laughs> Kale salad, my favorite. Do I, am I like the poster child for kale salad now? Massaged kale salad. Massaged kale salad. <laughs> okay. All of you naysayers that have never seen Nick Collier eat any kind of green vegetable besides broccoli, artichoke, or... That's it. That's it. Avocado. <laughs> Here it is. All right. Whoopee! Well, good morning. Nick Collier here and uh, on my lathe and in the receiver. And um, we're getting ready to bore out this hole, which is pretty much the only reason why I made this boring bar. Well, of course, I'm going to use it in other applications, but this was the application I needed it for. And uh, so we're going to swing you around and show you uh, the bit and all of that. And then maybe we'll start the lathe up and, uh, and uh, we'll see how this thing cuts. So we cut the bit real, real sharp because I wanted a fairly narrow uh, edge to run down the the um, the bore that I was cutting in this block of steel, um, mostly because I didn't want a whole lot of material following it and dragging on the uh, on the cut. So we got a fairly sharp tip here, and I and uh, I think it's going to cut okay. Um, and we've got uh, plenty of clearance behind the tip. So uh, let's go ahead and crank it up and, uh, and see how it's going to work. Okay, yesterday we actually did use this bar. We had to go in with the smaller bar first and a medium-sized bar and now this large one. And we got to the point to where we were cutting 45 thousandths per side. So that's 90 thousandths. Today I want to just go right in and see if we can take a 50 thousandths cut. And then that's where I'll want to you know, kind of ride for the next, what, inch? Let's throw a little oil in there. Crank her up. We're going to spin the opposite way, of course. Bring it in close. And I'm not sure if you can see anything from there. We're going to uh, shift positions for you.
Okay, we got a nice close-up shot of that bit. We're sitting at 45 thousandths right now. We're going to zero out uh, the DRO, and let's just take it right to 50. Now you saw that 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 the uh, the the bar itself dropped down as soon as it started grabbing, but it seems like it's cutting really nicely, nice and smooth. It's cutting pulling some pretty heavy chips off of there. I think 50 is a good number. And that's going to get us through this bore pretty fast. Okay, we're starting to get uh, get out to where we want to be. I think we've got about a half an inch cut since the last time we looked at it. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm, I started at the inside and I'm working my way out just to kind of uh, get a reverse and see uh, what kind of cut that will make. Because as we get to the end, we're going to need to know what, uh, what kind of surface we're going to have. And it doesn't look like we've got any vibration at all. And any second now that bit's going to show up. I'm not even sure it's cutting actually. So I came from the inside of the bore out towards uh, towards um, where we're standing here. Uh, and cut it and uh, you can see uh, it's pretty rough and then I turned around and I took ten thousandths off Going the other direction and it looks like an incredibly smooth beautiful cut. So uh, Obviously, we're gonna plunge in rather than come out when we get to the end. So um, We've still got a good half inch to go and uh, hey, let's keep plugging along. Okay, we're down to probably about one or two more cuts and we'll have this thing uh, at least the minor diameter set and then we come in and build a sleeve and we go out to the major diameter which is that line, that outer perimeter line. So, uh, so we're kind of, kind of plugging along here. It's doing good. We'll okay, good. let's take our final measurement. I just cut I did that second spring cut in just about a quarter of an inch there. We'll take that measurement to see where we're at. And we're at 245. And, and I give myself about a 15 thousandths uh, leeway, so 245 is perfect. So we're going to go ahead, and, and what I did here is I slowed it down to, uh, uh, you know, the, the carriage speed down. But I don't want to slow it down until we get all the way in there. So I'm going to speed that back up. Because we're going to just cut this stuff anyhow. So uh, I'm going to speed that back up. Now we'll come in. And we're going to go ahead and run that all the way in to within about a, an inch of, uh, of the end. And then I'll slow it back down again and it'll travel that last inch really slowly and do a real clean cut. Although it looks like that's a pretty damn clean cut as it is. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Alright, we'll be back. Okay, so where are we at now? at 3 to 15 so we need to go to 3 to 50 so that's uh, 35 more to go I'd say let's take 10 or actually let's take a spring cut and before I do that let's go in and clean up this, uh, this bit here a little bit Alright, 
so we'll take uh, we're gonna bring our speed down a little bit. I don't know. Either. We're gonna take ten. That's gonna leave us fifteen. Or what? Let's take a spring cut first and see what we come up with. see what that's got to do. That takes us to 30. So that's getting fairly close. So that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, run the spring cut and see what we got. I'm guessing that second, uh, a second spring cut's going to take us right to where we want to go. So we'll give that a shot and see what we can come up with. We'll be back. Okay, let's take our final measurement. I just cut, I did that second spring cut in just about a quarter of an inch there. We'll take that measurement to see where we're at. And we're at 245. And, and I give myself about a 15 thousandths uh, leeway, so 245 is perfect. So we're going to go ahead, and, and what I did here is I slowed it down to, uh, uh, you know, the, the carriage speed down. But I don't want to slow it down until we get all the way in there. So I'm going to speed that back up. Because we're going to just cut this stuff anyhow. So uh, I'm going to speed that back up. Now we'll come in and we're going to go ahead and run that all the way in to within about a, an inch of, uh, of the end. And then I'll slow it back down again and it'll travel that last inch really slowly and do a real clean cut. Although it looks like that's a pretty damn clean cut as it is. Doesn't look bad. All right, we'll be back. Okay, we're uh, we're down to the last three or four passes here, and uh, I've had to actually back off to uh, thirty thousandths per cut, which is sixty, uh, you know, thirty on each side, uh, to get a reasonable cut. I don't know why it's changed, but it has, and uh, you know, so we're down to the last few passes. Who cares? I went in and resharpened the bit and uh, still. So uh, yeah, you can see the, uh, the line out on the outside edge there. Uh, and that's uh, pretty much where we're gonna go. So we're, you know, what, four or five passes from, from uh, done. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, we're down to our last couple of cuts. I think we've got about 30 thousands left to do here and we're all set to go. So, uh, We'll be back when we do our finishing cuts. All right, let's look inside one more time. You see that shoulder? And we're now uh, doing just a spring cut just to see what we end up with. And uh, once that's done, I'm gonna take some measurements and then we probably got another 10 or 15 thousandths to cut. Okay, so we've got ourselves a bore here. It's uh, still a fairly rough cut, but uh, we're going to uh, take our measurement and see where we're at here with the snap gauges and that should give us what we want and it looks like we're still a bit shy and I gotta get my optivisors here Let's see what we've got. We've got 970, 50, 70. So we've got 25 left to cut. Let's uh, go ahead and take another 
spring cut just to be safe and see what we can take off of that this time. And we're just going to cut you know, like the first quarter inch or half inch. And I'm going to cut it at a slower speed. Okay, we made that final cut and now, uh, and I just took a measurement of it and we're sitting at exactly two or four inches and six and a half thousandths, which is just fine by me. It'll give us a nice easy slide fit, which is exactly what we wanted.